Hi guys, Todd here, vlog time. This is going to be a pre-recorded one because I'm going to Glasgow School of Vape uh, in Glasgow. <laughs> no shit, Sherlock. Uh, tomorrow, uh, Saturday today, and I, I just, I had planned to do, all the vlogs were going to be live going forward. They were going to be on Sundays. I was going to try and make them at three o'clock in the afternoon every Sunday and, and that would have been it going forward. But as always, I can't plan for toffee. And um, so here I am doing a, a pre-recorded vlog. So apologies to those that wanted to come along and shout and swear at me live on YouTube. I know how much fun that is. Um, things that I want to, 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 to I don't, have you ever noticed when I say I don't have much to talk about, it goes on for a bizardo, a full hour. It'll go on for a full hour. But oh no, today that shall not. Oh, do you like my new shirt? I got a new shirt. My mammy, my mammy sent me a new shirt because she was all worried about me getting cold in the shed during the winter. So I've got this. It's, um, you would think living most of my life over on the West Coast when I was a kid and, and being at sea that I would be used to wearing a barber shirt. But damn, this is warm. So, thanks, Mum. Uh, love my mum. Now, the one thing I do want to show you today is uh, this came in just yesterday. Yesterday. And uh, it's the, the new Squape. Uh, so, this last year, now I did say that for myself in 2017, this was my favourite RTA released in 2017. It was the Squape E Motion. And, and I still stand by that, and I'm using it with the big extension tank on it. They have now released, or will be releasing on the 1st of February, and I'll just put this up to the screen here, and, and here we go. This wee guy here, now I've got a 4mm extension tank on here, uh, this is the Squape EC. Now this is going to be £40 cheaper. This is going to be about £90, £95, so that's £40 cheaper than the E-Motion. Differences are, and this is it, this is all you have in the differences. Everything else works. All the decks that you got for the E-Motion still work in this. The decks that came with the E-Motion come with the EC. The, the kit, the box is identical. The only difference is that the tank is polycarbonate, it's PMMA, and also you cannot top fill. You have to unscrew the tank, turn it upside down, unscrew the base, get the dog hairs off, and fill the juice down the side. That's it. That's it. that's what you save forty pounds for. And I'm I'll be honest. As much love as I have for Chris and the gang over there, um, I I'm gonna say it. the top fill on the Emotion was a pain in the ass. It really was. It was the bit that was the major negative for me on this. And as much as I love this tank, the top fill system was a bit of a pain. So for me, saving forty pounds and and just unscrewing the base and filling that way, I think it's a good. At Obviously, if you use tank crackers, you know if you use tank crackers, you, you're not going to go for this. Uh, but if you use other liquids, then you'll be fine. The other thing I'll point out is that. I don't have any issues getting heavy VG down the side. Uh, you know, you're going to have to pour it down the side because they've actually put a little cutout. And hang on, I'll see if I can zoom this in. See that little cut? It looks like a little bit of liquid there, just right there. Well, that's a little cutout, so you can rest your nozzle in there. And it works well. It works well. I've, I'm pouring heavy VG in here, no problem at all, and, and it's performing just the thing. Now, obviously in the UK, TPD compliance and all that kind of stuff, uh, it's only going to be a 2 mil tank, uh, unless you can find somewhere from abroad that will, will sell you the tank. Uh, but I will say, I've got to say, <laughs> I have to say this, or I noticed this, when I, I started using this and I had a few tanks through it, uh, the 2 mil version, and then I swapped over to the, the 4 mil one, uh, the difference in flavour. It, it's it's with the shorter tank it's a lot the only difference is really at the end of the day is the vapor it doesn't have as far to travel to your mouth but it, it seemed to make quite a difference on the the little old squeep and 
and I do have to turn the wattage up just a couple of notches on the, the, the bigger tank just to get the same kind of flavour. Uh, you can get all the usual accessories, you know, you can get different colours and things like that, but uh, I know in the UK Creme de Vape are going to have this in stock, um, and, and you can go along to the site now and you can check all the spec out. Here it is here. I need to get an orange mod again. I need to get a, an orange mod because I've got all my, my orange scrapes. Look, so much orange going on. I am at 26 watts with a 0 0.78 ohm coil here. Smashing. Uh, just to clear, just to be clear, once again, the box, everything inside it, is exactly the same that you get with the 135 pound atty. It's identical. It's absolutely identical. Only difference you've got is a PMME tank, and you have to fill from the bottom. That's it. Now I'm not going to do a review for it as such because I could sum up the differences and just like I have. Uh, if you want to go and watch the review for the Scrape E-Motion then I'll put a link up in the corner of the screen that you can go and watch. It's just so you know what you're getting into. But it's very good. I do like it and the polycarb doesn't bother me at all. Now I did put up a review. Is it here? Yeah. Oh, got ya. I put up a review for this during the week and I apologise. What? Did I put? Yeah, I'm sorry because when I recorded the review, it was very much a case of I hate this. I don't want to do it, um, and, and that was it. I really was not in the. the I didn't have my my game head on. Let's shall we say? We'll put it like that. I didn't have my game head on, but I recorded a quick review anyway. Uh, I, but I was just annoyed. I was annoyed by the size of the font on this because it was just. It was a bad design decision, in my opinion, and I think it could have been a far better device just for that, just if they tweaked it a little bit. Anyway, I, I do make jokes about my eyesight, and um, and somebody who is still unnamed and has not come forward sent me these. Look at look, so, so I've been doing my best impersonation of my dad around the house. Actually, I look more like my grandpa than my dad with these things. Um, uh, but whoever sent these on, thank you, you bampot. But thank you for the sweeties. I got sweeties and TJ got sweeties. And, and, and my God, these are strong. What are they? Ah, ah eyes aren't working now. Plus 3.50. Um, but yeah. So I could I could end up wearing these for when I'm doing reviews on uh, up close stuff from now on. I can't actually. My eyes are Jesus wet. That is strong. Um, so whoever sent these on and the sweeties for myself and TJ, thank you so so much. <laughs> it's brilliant. Um, I'll pop them up there. Uh, I told you about the T-shirt. I got a cracking T-shirt from uh, Phil and Dimitri. Um, that arrived. Have I got a picture somewhere? I've put a picture up. Um, kudos to them for <laughs> for taking the piss in such a a gentle, gentlemanly fashion. That is how you take the piss out of somebody. I was so chuffed, so chuffed with it. Um, so big thank you to both of those guys, and um, and I shall see you in Stuttgart. Uh, what else can I? I'm struggling. I've just finished recording a review for the Alcatraz RDA that will go up on Monday uh, I've recorded a review and I'm editing it for the the ION uh, this little bad boy here this RTA or they call it an RBA but I call it an RTA uh, this is yeah I'll the review will be up next week short and sweet version it's an old school RTA that wicks well. That wicks well with heavy VG. That that's this yeah, that's about the sum total of it. It's it's got a lot of the flaws of the old school stuff with a couple of modern twists on it. But personally I love it. But anybody that's newish to vaping, then no. It's it's got too many bad habits from the old days, this thing. It really has. Uh 
I'm also vaping on today. I'm vaping on this. I'm vaping on my 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 Smooth by Echo Mods. Come on, the Italians. Uh, and I've got the Nudge 22 on top. I've got the this is the <laughs> this is the big airflow cap with the 810, which to me just doesn't feel that much different to the the other top cap that comes with it. Uh, I would say that this is. I'm being completely honest and straight to the point. Uh, this is a good little latte for the money. It's really good. I can't take it away from it. I would quite happily vape with this day in day out, and I just wish the airflow could be just a little bit more restricted on it. But that's just me. Price-wise, I mean, it's going to be about the same, I would imagine, as its big brother, the 24. And so if this is about the 20, 25 pound mark, it's a no-brainer. It's It will give you as good a vape as some atties four or five times the price. And, and that's a fact. Um, so, yeah, I might not manage a review for it next week. We'll see how it goes. I'll see how much use I get out of it once I get back from Glasgow because I'm staying the night down there. Um, other stuff that I can show you. Now, I did a review for the pink, the pink squonker uh, from Vape Smarter. And, and Stu sent me, like, look at this, he sent me a photo. This is Alfie. Uh, and I've got to stop calling him Archie. Sorry, Alfie. This is Alfie. This is Stu's dog. He, he looks very similar to TJ longer snout but he's very similar so so that's 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 pinned up but Stu also sent me because he does a lot of leather work as well but this is uh you know put this on your belt but it's uh you know the Juul 18650 plastic case it, it just fits it in there perfectly snap it shut job done but but second hand I did purchase this I, I bought this uh, this was the Damascus Flare, and I reviewed this back in uh, 2014, I think this was. Uh, I reviewed this, and I've just figured out that I can pop that in there with an atty on there, over the firing switch to protect it. How cool is that? And I love the, the little Alfie paw print there. Uh, it's really smart. Vapesmarter.org. Go and have a look. He does some pretty cool stuff there as well. And I do like the pink. I mean, I don't like the pink, as in pink, but um, I do like the mod. Watch the review. See what I thought of it. I will have... Uh, I don't know if it'll be... Uh, probably be another week before this one happens. This is the Omnia Wasp. No, it's not. It's the VLS. I'll just make it up as I go along. Uh, this is a... Once again, this is... This is, very, this is actually very, very good. It's very good. Um, it does have a couple of flaws, but for £18, dual vertical coil in it, it, it's... I like this. I think it's... Once again, and, and it's like the Wasp. If the Wasp was £50, it would be a very average RDA. But because it was so cheap, and it was still good, it, it, it made for bang for buck it was unbeatable and and I'll say the same for this bang for buck I think this is really really good uh, but I'll try and get a review up for this as soon as I can the Jazz RDA the review for that will be coming soon I do believe that uh, those lazy buggers have finally got their finger out and they're doing 510 drip tip adapters and so on so once they arrive I'll get the review done also the one RDA I do believe that they're close to a launch date, uh, or very, very close. People should start getting them. I'll leave that one there just now. The Dreamer mod, that's that's that was excellent. It's a very, very good mod, that mechanical mod. It's one of the best I've seen in a little while, and I was fair impressed with it. So that's winging its way to uh, its new home already. Uh, but the, what else did I get done? Uh, oh, we did the draw for the the Stabby BF and the 502 RDA and that was just under £600 that you, you guys, raised for charity. Uh, thank you. All the money went to the Dogs Trust. All the donations went straight to it. Once, As always, 
I don't touch the money, it comes nowhere near me, it goes straight to the charity. Uh, but I've posted that off to its new owner already. Well chuffed, well chuffed with that one. Um, the last one I did last week was the Lustro... <sighs> yeah, bells and whistles. Too many bells and whistles. It, it, not for me, just not for me. But uh, watch the review and see what you think. And that's about it on the vape stuff. Uh, there is some new stuff coming in next week, which I will show you as we go along. Um, I, As always, I'll post photos on Instagram, my Facebook page, and I try to remember to post them on the community pa page tab on my YouTube channel. And I normally do unboxings on my Facebook group when stuff comes in as well. Um, that's about it. Is it? Yes, it is. I'll leave. Oh no! Yeah, see, I've done it again. What have I been watching? We've been binging on Startup uh, on Amazon. Uh, I don't know how old it is, um, but it's got. Is it Martin Freeman? Yeah, Martin Freeman. Um, yeah, the yeah, Hobbit. Yeah. Uh, it's good. Really enjoying it. Really enjoying it. So we've been binging on that. Still binging on Battlestar Galactica. Not seen any films recently. No, what did I watch? We watched, um, can't remember, it's gone. It's gone. Listen, thank you as always for watching. Uh, sorry this is a short one. Sorry I never made a live one. Uh, I'll, I'll try and make it up to you next week. Honestly, I will. In in some shape or form, I'll, I'll make it up to you. <sighs> it's like my shirt. It's really nice. Thanks, Mum. Anyway, we'll catch you later, guys. Bye for now.